the kingdom of Bertemma, united by King Robar II. During the long years of his reign, he was able to defeat all foes of his realm. All except one. The war against the orcs took its toll, and the prisoners of the realm were to pay the price. The king needed swords for his army, and every man guilty of a crime, no matter how insignificant, was forced to work in the ore mines of Corinis. To make it impossible for them to escape, the king sent out the best magicians of the kingdom to create a magic barrier around the entire valley. But something disturbed the delicate structure of magic. We were trapped inside our own barrier. The convicts took control of Corinius. The king had no choice. He had to negotiate. He needed the ore. But his former slaves now demanded a high price. Month after month, the king supplied everything the prisoners needed in exchange of tons of ore until the present day. Another convict was brought to the lift. He did not know that he would change everything. Low risk, high return, they said. You'll never get caught. Of course. Now it's just you and me, my friend. No weapons, no food. Just a simple spell. Hmm? What's happening down there? What the? Of what happened yesterday. You discovered the local fauna. Those beasts are very violent at night. 
Conversely, they're somewhat more docile during the day. Luckily, I arrived to hunt something for breakfast. Better than you, eh? That meat is a bit tough, but it tastes better than rookie meat. By the way, we haven't been introduced. My name is Diego, and I'm the leader of the Shadows in the old camp. Oh, and Leia, that's not important. You're a convict in the colony now. New prison, new life. That's what people say anyway. I'm going to call you Rookie. All right with you? Hey, that scroll belongs to me. Yes. I borrowed it while you were asleep. Don't worry, Rookie. I'll give it back to you when we leave. It's an unusual document. Normally, Rookie's coming here with scrolls, listing their crimes. <laughs> that legal formality is meaningless here. It doesn't matter what crimes you committed outside. You'll have plenty of time to work them off here. <laughs> if you live long enough. Yours, on the other hand, is special. It's red and carries a lack of seal. It's a scroll intended for mages. What should I do with the scroll? Well, Rookie, there are things more dangerous than wild animals in this place. For example, the ambition of many prisoners and how little other people's lives are worth. In your place, I'd keep my mouth shut until I found one of the mages. Although in your situation, <laughs> that's not likely to happen. Why not? The mages are in the castle of the old camp. The only way people can get in are Gomez's men. So, now you know. If you want to find them, first, you'll have to join the old camp. There's no other way. Well, I'll have to report yesterday's attack to Gomez. Shortly. But before we leave here, do you have any questions, Rookie? Why did you help me? You were in trouble, and I happened to be passing by. Call it honor. Call it justice. No one should have to fight without a decent weapon and a fair shot at winning. But above all, I helped you because you're a rookie. And my job is to give you rookies an opportunity. Look, rookie, the colony is very dangerous. And even more so at night. Never leave the camps without being properly equipped. Besides, all you newcomers have a curious habit of getting yourselves into trouble. But I won't always be around to help you. Hmm, speaking of trouble, the scavengers were about last night. Did you see the attack on the lift? Yes, I was part of the cargo in the lift when it happened. Hmm, very interesting. We're still investigating what happened and who was responsible. I think your testimony might be valuable. When we reach the old camp, you should speak to Gomez. I'm sure he'll be very interested in hearing what you have to say. So what do I need to know about this place? <laughs> Let's start with the basics. We call it the colony, and we produce ore for the king. At least that's what we do at the old camp. Inside the barrier, there are three camps. And if you want to stay alive, you'll have to join one of them. The old camp is the largest and oldest of the three. And, well, part of my job is also to tell the new arrivals that it's the best place for them. And what about the other camps? <laughs> Listen, Rookie, alongside the old camp, the new camp and the sect are nothing more than carnivals of mayhem and looting. In the old camp, you encounter people from those places who can better explain to you how things work here. As for me, I'll just tell you that the people in the new camp are a bunch of thieves and no scruples. And the people in the sect are all madmen, obsessed with certain herbs. <laughs> As you can see, I'm speaking from a position of absolute impartiality. <laughs> You mentioned someone named Gomez. Who is he? Gomez is the leader of the old barons. He's the head of the old camp, the most powerful man in the colony. He's responsible for guaranteeing the ore shipment to the king and maintaining order in the only civilized zone inside this barrier. He's rather peculiar, a man of refined tastes and expensive indulgences. You'll see what I mean when you get to know him. How do I find the old camp? Take this path. Past the clearing with the old tree, there's a guard post and an abandoned mine. If you go through it, you'll get to the old camp. However, the door is closed for security reasons until I issue the order to open it. I'll go there after breakfast. You can come with me if you want. Let's say I want to join the old camp. What do I have to do? That would be wonderful news. No doubt about it. You should go to the castle gate. There, you'll find a man called Thorus. Tell him I sent you. Thorus isn't the friendliest person on the planet, but he knows what he's doing. He'll tell you who you have to win over to be accepted. Thank you very much. I don't have any more questions. <laughs> don't mention it. <laughs> it's always a pleasure. Hey, you showed promise in the fight, but that's not going to do much good without a weapon. And there are also lots of wild beasts between here and the camps. It would be folly to travel unarmed. You can start by taking a look around the exchange zone, near the elevator. I'm sure you'll find something useful there. When you get a decent weapon, come back and we'll go to the old camp together.
This smells awful. How can they use this garbage to lure wolves? You're the new guy who arrived last night, aren't you? Yes. Diego told me all about it. A spectacular welcome, eh? I'll say. Well, newbie, I hope you're having a good time on your side of the door. Because you won't be able to get to the other side. What? Why not? Diego's orders. Until he returns, I can't open the door to you or anyone else. Are you sure there's no way I can get through the door? <laughs> well, it looks like we have a new merchant in the colony. Well, let's do some business. Maybe you can help me with a little problem. I had a horrible night. Well, I think I did. I went a little too far with the beer and the dice, I guess. Maybe you know how this usually ends. My head is about to explode with a hangover. My colleagues loot and the boring morning guards. So you could bring me something for the headache? A strong painkiller? If you bring me something really useful, maybe I'll let you in. Hmm. All right, I'll see what I can find. That's great. The gate and I are waiting. I think I have something for your headache. Something really strong. Oh, a Seraphis. Thanks for picking it up for me. I'll get a dime for it in the old camp. You can't imagine how many beers you can buy with just one of these. Wait a minute. You didn't want it for your headache? Bah, not really. Hangover and I are first cousins. And you don't abandon the family, you know. Anyway, Thank you very much. See you around. Hey, we had an agreement, remember? A painkiller if you opened the door for me. First of all, an honourable and upright old camp guard would never let himself be bribed, man. And secondly, I said maybe I could open it. I never said I would. Well, welcome to the colony, Rocky. <laughs>
Well, haven't you found the weapon yet? Hurry up, rookie. I can't wait here all morning.
I don't think Gomez will miss this. Hey! Oh. Hello. I didn't hear you coming. I'm looking for... Well, clues about last night's disaster. I see. <clears throat> well, I have to settle this soon. Gomez has little patience, and I have other, more urgent problems to attend to. So, you are... I'm Caden, guard of the Exchange Zone. This week I worked the morning shift. And this is Rufus. Well, what remains of him? He had to work the night shift. So as you can imagine, I feel particularly fortunate. Now it's up to me to find out what the hell happened here. And try to recover what might still be useful for the old camp. What kind of problems do you have that are so urgent? Well, you see, in the old camp you can never trust anyone, and even less of those who call you friend. Two of these friends, Cyrus and Bedig, took advantage of the fact that I had to come here to steal from me a very valuable pendant. They know it's important to me, but they would sell their mother in order to get some ore in the black market. What does the pendant look like? You'll recognize it easily. It is made of metal and has the shape of the god Adonos. No incrustations, no jewelry, no magical powers. It doesn't have much value. Clearly, it was stolen out of spite. Who are these old friends? They were more than friends. In fact, they were former business partners. We had our differences, and in the end, we decided to dissolve the business. But I never thought they would dare steal from me. Okay, let's be clear. If I help you, what can you give me in return? Hmm. A businessman. That's the attitude. I like you. Tell me. What are you looking for? Or what do you need? We can start there. Well, a decent sword would do me good. A weapon that is easy to obtain and has no owner, if you know what I mean. Oh, I understand. Okay. I won't tell Gomez anything if you don't tell anyone about our little deal. Okay? Okay, we agree then. The pendant in exchange for the sword. By the way, where can I find Saras and Beric? They've gone to the woods, near the bridge, I think. Be very careful. They are violent people. You'd better be prepared for anything.
I'm sorry, Beric. It's the best for everyone. You! Caden sends you to kill me, right? Frickin' bastard! Frickin' bastard! Wait! Don't kill me! Let's talk! Please! Oh, oh, for Innes. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, boy. Thank you for putting down your sword. Enough! I'm here to retrieve the pendant you stole from Caden. That's all. <laughs> What's so funny? Do you really believe? That son of a bitch's story! A pendant we stole from Caden! <laughs> Look, boy, he sold you a pup! Wait, what? You mean there's no pendant? Yes, of course. Although it's not really a pendant, it's rather the key to our business. That's why Beric always kept it hidden. I need it back. Do you know where he used to keep it? Oh, shit. I killed him before I asked. In any case, Beric had a very bad memory and used to lose goods before forgetting where he temporarily stored them. That's why he wrote everything down in his logbook. It's probably still on his corpse. You can keep it, man. It's all yours. I'm only interested in getting out of this one alive and forgetting all about Caden and his business. I'm done. I don't get it. If you didn't steal anything from him, why did he send me to you? Caden, Beric and I made a lot of money on the black market thanks to the King's goods until the elevators collapsed. Caden thought there was a partner in excess and I agreed. And that's why I'm here. Fewer members, more profits. Now I see my ex-partner wants to be the sole owner of the business. That's why you're here. Luckily you didn't kill me, but I hope Caden thinks you did, right? He'll freak out if you tell him the truth. <laughs> and you really believe Caden will trust me when I get back? On my word alone, I have no way of proving I killed you. Yeah, right. And that's a problem. Caden doesn't believe anyone but himself. And he'll trust less on a stranger like you. Okay, we'll do this. I'll give you a gift that Caden gave me years ago as a proof of his friendship. I don't think I'll ever need it again. Caden can get a good price for it. He'll give you whatever you agree with him, and I'll have a second chance away from that son of a bitch. It's a win-win, isn't it? You're losing a lot of blood, man. You should tend that wound. Yeah, you're right. I'll go to the river to clean it. However, I don't think I can survive without any medication or painkiller. But I don't have the strength or energy to look for it. All right, I'll see what I can do. I know I'm not in a position to ask you any favor. But if you help me, I'll be able to escape to the new camp where Caden won't find me. And in the future, I'll be able to return the favor. All right, I'll take care of it. I'll wait for you on the riverbank. And please don't be late. I need those medicines fast, or I don't think I'll get out of it.
this big golden belly a sign. Where have I seen this before? <sighs> Hmm. Strange symbol on the tree. Hmm. I've seen this shape somewhere.
Okay. This circle is the colony. And this is where the elevator exploded. What do you think you're doing, Rookie? Okay, I'm sorry. My mistake. It won't happen again. Hey, Caden. I'm back. I think I've been able to solve the mystery of the robbery and the pendant. Oh, really? Wow. That was fast. Okay, tell me. Did you get the key? I mean, the pendant. Yeah, here it is. It wasn't easy to get back. Good boy. I knew I could trust you from the first moment I saw you. By the way, did you have problems with Saros and Bedig? What happened to them? Berig was dead, and Saras fought for his life until the last moment. I took this from his corpse as proof. Incredible work. Incredible. I have no words. You've got the pendant back, and you've killed the thieves. No doubt you have a great and promising future in the colony. If you ever need a good friend in the old camp, come and see me or my nice cousin, Bully. We will do what we can to help you. And now... Take the sword, your well-deserved prize. Hey, Caden, I'm back. I think I've been able to solve the mystery of the robbery and the pendant. Oh, really? Wow. That was fast. Okay, tell me. Did you get the key? I mean, the pendant. Oh, no. I'm sorry. There was a pendant. It's probably already been sold on the black market. What? No, that's not possible. They would never have sold the pendant on the black market. You're lying. It was you who said Saras and Berig robbed you in order to sell it. There was no pendant, but I almost died trying to get it back. Okay. Well, all right. Maybe I invented some context to convince you. In any case, what happened to Saurus and Berig? Are they still alive or not? When I arrived, Berig was already dead, and Saras attacked me. I had no choice but to kill him. I don't get it. You killed Saurus and Berig, and they didn't have the pendant. I don't know. There's something here that doesn't fit. Are you sure you searched the bodies well? Well, look, I can't waste any more time with you, okay? Take the sword and get out.
I knew it. You kept the key for yourself. You wanted to rob me and keep all the stash. Well, you're going to pay a high price, my friend. I've seen this shape somewhere. I warned you. Strange symbol on the tree.
Yeah. Oh, finally. I hope there's no scavenger around. I couldn't fight with this. <clears throat> Hey, Caden, I'm back. I think I've been able to solve the mystery of the robbery and the pendant. Oh, really? Wow, that was fast. Okay, tell me, did you get the key? I mean, the pendant. Yeah, here it is. It wasn't easy to get back. Good boy. I knew I could trust you from the first moment I saw you. By the way, did you have problems with Saros and Bedig? What happened to them? Berig was dead, and Saras fought for his life until the last moment. I took this from his corpse as proof. Incredible work. Incredible. I have no words. You've got the pendant back, and you've killed the thieves. No doubt you have a great and promising future in the colony. If you ever need a good friend in the old camp, come and see me or my nice cousin, Bully. We will do what we can to help you. And now, take the sword, your well-deserved prize. Gomez has little patience, and will have even less if you entertain me with your nonsense.
<laughs> not bad, right? Well, it's not the best sword I've ever seen, but it's much better than what you had before. At least you'll have a real chance of winning a fight with this one. Anyway, you've already found something to defend yourself with, and this meat is inedible. If it's all right with you, let's go to the old camp. What do you think of Caden? He's not a bad guy, but he's a survivor. And he's been surviving for a long time. You should be wary of him. Always bear in mind that, in the colony, decisions have consequences sooner or later. I found this. I think it has relevant information about what happened in the elevator last night. Interesting. Very interesting. Apparently we have a mole, and the attack was premeditated. Gomez would love to know this. Good job, rookie. The truth is you're doing pretty well for your first day here. All right, let's go. Great, follow me. So, Rookie, quite a show yesterday, eh? Okay, all of you stay where you are. Don't make me hurt you. <laughs> Very funny. The scene was actually pretty comical, at least to me. That's because it wasn't you risking your neck. If I'd have had a good sword, the fight would have gone differently. Of course. The champion of Corillis single-handedly defeats an army of nocturnal beasts. <laughs> I had them right where I wanted them, but then you had to come along. By the way, where are we? It looks like a theater. It's actually an ancient temple that has seen different gods. You know, Inos, Adanos, and there you have him, Belia. It doesn't really matter anymore. If this is such an important zone, isn't it dangerous to have predators around here? Yes, and that's why we prefer to work during the day. The animals are starting to do stranger and stranger things at night. Why is that? I don't know. It might be the magic of the barrier. Or because they've been trapped in the colony for so long. I see. Incidentally, Diego, are there many rookies in the colony? Few alive. Even fewer sane. Out of the new arrivals, I believe just you. Even so, being the old camp's nanny is no easy task, as you saw for yourself. Well, you're pretty good at it. You look like you've been doing it all your life. 
No, Rookie. Before landing in this cesspool, I had a more comfortable life. And a more interesting profession. Like everyone, I guess. Look, there's the guard post for the trade route. <laughs> Only two men guarding it. Yes, but what a pair. Especially Ori, he's a real character. Grouchy, loyal to the old camp, and a magnificent warrior. Whether it's with a sword or in a beer drinking contest. I swear no one came through here. We would have seen it. We hardly even had two beers yesterday. Of course, Ori, don't you worry. It happens to the best soldiers, although less to the sober ones. Hey, dude. Seems like things have calmed down a little bit, right? Now it's up to us to fix the elevator disaster. The sooner the old camp diggers get here, the better. Are these kind of things common here? You don't seem to have time to get bored. That's a taste of everyday life in the colony. Be on your guard. Especially with the scumbags from the new camp. Why do I have to worry about the men from the new camp? Because they're a bunch of savages and they don't respect anything. It's survival of the fittest with them. Plus, the new camp doesn't receive any supplies from the outside world. The majority of the bandits over there steal whatever they need. If you run into them, the best thing to do is hide all your valuables and not let them see that you're carrying a good sword. They don't mess around. And the old camp is better than the new camp? Of course. Next to the new camp, the old camp is a tranquil and peaceful place. Gomez and his old barons maintain order, and the people have very good living conditions, thanks to the trade with the king. We guards are under the barons, and under us are the shadows. The diggers occupy the lowest rung of the community. Everyone who arrives at the old camp starts out as a digger. If you want something better, you'll have first have to be admitted to the shadows. Aren't you bored waiting here all day? Very much so. Occasionally I use rotten meat to lure the scavengers. But they rarely last around with me. They're lazy animals, really. The thing I miss the most about my long guard duties is a good drink. And I'm not talking about cheap beer or rancid wine. I'm talking about something exquisite. Something different that gives me joy once in a while. You mean something from outside the colony? Yeah, that's right. Sometimes I find a moment to look for things. But given what happened last night, I doubt I'll be able to move from here for quite a while. What do you know about the attack on the lift? It had to be those lunatics from the new camp. And this isn't the first time we've had problems with them. Tension between the two camps is growing because of their looting and stealing. And this last attack has been the worst yet. Someday Gomez will get sick of their nonsense and then they'll have a serious problem. Hey, I think I've found something that will brighten your day. A bottle of wine from the harvest of King Roba II himself. Feinos? How on earth did you get that? Only Gomez has access to this level of quality. Well, it's a long and bizarre story. I'd rather not know. In any case, I don't think my boss would miss a bottle, right? I can almost smell the wine from here.
I don't think so. There are lots of bottles, and it's normal to lose one along the way. <laughs> I like you, dude. I knew I could count on you. Or so I thought when I saw you with Diego. Let me give you this in return. It's not much, but it's the best I have right now. Still, I think you can sell it easily if you want to get some more. And again, thank you so much for getting me this wonder. I will toast your hell. Okay, I understand. And remember, only the clever and the strong survive in the colony. Everyone else ends up being food for scavengers. Or worse.
Ha <laughs> ha! 
You're back. Any news? Okay, I understand. And remember, only the clever and the strong survive in the colony. Everyone else ends up being food for scavengers. Or worse. Inos. I hope it's as good as it smells. Hey, you're back. I'm worse than I thought, actually. Did you find anything useful? No, I'm sorry. I haven't been able to find anything to help tend your wounds. Well, man, if you find anything, I'll be here. I don't plan to go very far, you know? But please, don't be late. As you can see, I don't have all the time in the world. All right, I'll hurry up. Bye. Inos. I hope it's as good as it smells. Hey, you're back. I'm worse than I thought, actually. Did you find anything useful? They say the Seraphis is very useful for this type of wound. It may help you hold on until you reach the new camp. Thanks, man. You just saved my life. Literally. <laughs>
Ed in the supplies from the King gone, Gomez is going to kill us. But of course, it's all the same to you, isn't it? The important thing is to play that cursed flute day and night. The riffraff at the new camp will end up causing a war in the colony. You'll see. In any case, let's see if the crew shows up and we get to work. We have a fantastic day ahead of us of burying dead bodies and repairing the damage. This is disgusting. Why do wolves eat this crap? Oh, hi, Bloodwin. I didn't expect to see you here. I thought Gomez was going to send Jackal. Nah, Jackal has to supervise the South Zone. So it's my turn to control the north access to the exchange zone. And who the hell is this? Another of your clumsy apprentices? <laughs> I hope this one at least knows how to hold a sword. Yeah. I can defend myself better than you think. Trust me. Yeah, he's right. So far he's survived his first day, which is no mean feat. Anyway, are we going to the old camp now? No, Diego, I can't leave yet. I have to settle a debt with Drax and Radford as soon as possible. This new camp crap is really insistent, you know? Who are Drax and Radford? They are new camp hunters who normally work near the north gate of the old camp. And like good new camp scum, they can't be trusted. Yeah. They'll try to stab you in the back as soon as you turn around. An old camp soldier in debt to the new camp. Strange, isn't it? Watch your tongue. I'm an old camp guard, not one of your kindergarten friends. <laughs> I don't have to give you any explanation. I need snapper meat and a wolf tusk, that's all. That was the agreement, and the sooner I fulfill it, the sooner I'll forget about them. Well, I think you got a mission, rookie. Wait, what? Don't worry, Bloodwin. He'll bring you what you owe. Are you kidding me? <laughs> this guy could barely kill a cockroach. Hello, I'm here. Believe me, he has several hidden virtues. He only needs training, that's all. Have you seen any wolves or snappers nearby? Yeah, at the top, near the watchtower. I saw a wolf, and around the area, a snapper trying to catch some unsuspecting animal. What the hell is a snapper? You know, the snappers. You fought them last night. They're a little bigger than the scavengers. Don't worry, I'm sure you can handle them. Well, 
Actually, the scavengers are the snapper's menu. Anyway, it'll be fun to see what you can do, kid. Bring me the snapper meat and the wolf's tusk, and we'll keep talking. Hey, you're back. What do you need? Wow, you're back. <laughs> and in one piece. I wasn't expecting this. Yes, it's been a very easy mission. It was enough to slay a huge wolf and a killer snapper, and all with this crappy sword. I told you, this guy has what it takes to do the job. Good job for a rookie. Take this, and remember, you can always come to me at the old camp. Well, that's very generous of you. Not generous. Smart. If you need protection, I can provide it. Eh, for a small price. As long as you can afford it, of course. Yeah. Bloodwind doesn't lift a finger if there's no ore involved. That's his philosophy, isn't it? Eh, more or less. Well, rookie, now I need you to go up to the watchtower and extinguish the beacon. You remember I'm new here, right? What watchtower? In the colony, we use old abandoned towers to send messages remotely. A good flame is usually seen many miles away. That's it. Normally, it would be enough to knock on the door. But after the incidents of last night, Gomez has improved the security. And that's why the old camp soldiers will only open the door if they see that signal. And where's the watchtower? You can go up the road or take the elevator, as you prefer. It's at the top, near where Bloodwind saw the snapper. Once you're there, you can use this key to open the door. All right, I'm on it.
Welcome to your new home, Rookie. And this is just the beginning. <laughs> 